I'm, I'm going to be transparent with you guys. I struggled with it. It took a while for me to value that I want to smell good all day, first of all. Not for anyone else, for myself. I'm hoping that this video helps young girls that are out there who might be struggling with their own personal hygiene. Crown, 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 I never bow down. I sip my tea in my, my business. I sip my tea in my, my business. I'm a queen, queen, and I am meant to be free. I'm a queen, queen, and I am meant to be free. I sip my tea in my, my business. Business. I said my tea in my, my business. Hello, it's your girl Seraph and welcome back to Sound by Seraph. I appreciate you being here with me once again, okay? If you have not yet, please subscribe to this channel so you can continue to join me on my fashion and beauty journey. If you guys don't know yet, I'm a business owner. I own a business called Serative where I offer handmade crochet wear and holistic products and services. And right now I am wearing the Evil Eye Necklace and evil eye studs these are the newcomers on the site can y'all see it there you go support a black owned business this holiday season buy from serative i know you buying gifts so buy from serative you feel me so today what are we getting into guys what's happening so today i wanted to share with you guys my smell good all day routine i can't show you me butt naked you feel me but I'm going to be showing you guys me putting it on, but also speaking on some things. So, the first thing, if you have not yet watched my um, my glow up story video, I talk about um, my hygiene insecurity. As I was growing up, I was dealing with depression um, and just lack of self-love for my body in general. So I had a lot of poor hygiene routines. And it took, you know, until my adult life to really understand what was needed, you know, to, in terms of this womanhood thing, you know? So I'm hoping that this video helps young girls that are out there who might be struggling with their own personal hygiene. Um, and just understanding, like, in terms of hygiene, it's really based on each person. So even if I share my personal hygiene, I mean, my personal smell good all day routine with you, it might not work well for your body you know so just keep that in mind as well so first and foremost deodorant guys deodorant deodorant you need it you need it and you know what i really want to have natural deodorant i wish i could live that life and have natural deodorant but i can't i just sweat a lot i sweat a lot and when i was depressed or when I'm sad or rushing or have anxiety, I sweat so much. So I need deodorant that is strong. I use a clinical deodorant from Secret, though. If you sweat a lot, you need to find yourself some clinical deodorant. Sweating is normal. It's natural. But you also need to make sure it's handled. Do you feel me? So I just put a little bit of that on. Um, it's just a... There's no scent to it, it's just fresh, light and fresh scent. It doesn't really matter what scent you use for the deodorant, all that really matters is that you get a deodorant that helps you not sweat. Um, I wish I could use natural deodorants, but I have yet to find a natural deodorant that um, worked, you feel me? So if you guys know one, please leave a comment below about a natural deodorant that has worked for you because I have yet, I have yet to find one. Or I use this spray deodorant that I'm gonna show you guys. Like, when it's like when I spray deodorant on, it doesn't have to be clinical, which is weird. But yeah, so that's what I recommend for you um, if that is something you struggle with. Next is, next is you gotta find the scent that you wanna smell like. I chose cherry blossoms because I like that as just flowers in general. So. The scent I want to smell like is cherry blossom. So any lotion, any perfume, um, it doesn't have to be the deodorant, but any lotion and perfume that I use will be cherry blossom scent, lotion and perfume. I'm going to be using this Japanese cherry blossom lotion from Bath and Body Works. That's where I get it from. And if they don't have it for whatever reason, I'm gonna just find another cherry blossom lotion that that I want because that's the smell I want to smell like.
I'm trying not to show you all my body, but also show you guys me applying it. Y'all don't even see my body. I just keep adding lotion because I be ashy, so I use a lot of lotion. After you put on that lotion, the first lotion that you want to smell like, you need to use an oil over it. I ran, I ran out of this, but the next thing is the baby oil. You will see it. This is baby oil. I'm running low, as you can see, I use a lot of it. It can close the scent inside. Like, if you just use lotion, you'll just sweat it out. The scent will go away. But if you use a baby oil, a coconut oil, an olive oil over your skin after you lotion, it will keep the scent on you. I am going to use this all over my body as well now. Okay, that's the key, guys. That's what you need to do. And then after that, I use this, um, I use another product. I think it's called a bag balm. I'm gonna show you guys too. Now this is key. You do the lotion, you do the baby oil, but this is key for your dry spots, okay? So the key is to make sure that you're fully moisturized all day and the smell that, you, the smells that you put on stay on your body. So this is a bag balm. It's just like, kind of like the thing that people put on their lips as well, but Hand body for dry skin that cracks, split, or shape. Use on your hands, knees, face, feet, cuticles, elbows, lips. And I use that on any like parts of my body that get dry easily. So like on my knees, on my all on my feet, um, in my armpit area right here, under my boobs. Um, yeah, I use it on all the crevices, all those parts that are like easy to get you sweating or easy to dry up. I make sure it's hella moisturized. So I'm going to put it, I put it on my knees, right? And behind the knees, so like that space behind your knees. I like rub my feet with this all the time. I also put it on like areas where I have stretch marks. So I have stretch marks on my butt. So I put it on my butt. And the last place I put it is near my armpit area. Just for like an added scent. Yeah, under my boobs. Let me just put the bag ball. So I put it under my boobs. And yeah. And it's important for you to get the perfume or you need perfume. Like you can get like a body spray, but you need perfume. That's the next thing. You need perfume. Um, the body spray is just not enough. It doesn't stay on that long. So you need to get a perfume that matches the lotion that you want to smell like. So the one that I'm showing you guys now is a cherry. Uh, it's not, it's called Haiku. It's from Avon and it's, the scent is cherry blossom as well. So I'm just going to put it ooh, anywhere, like on my neck, on my chest, on my stomach, you know, and then on my I like watch a video that says like do not rub against it like you could just pat it but that's it so yeah I got a perfume that matched the scent of the lotion that I want to smell like very important um, I also put essential oils on my bracelet I usually use the Brickettes and Merv but I have this one it's just like a rub on essential oil just rub it on this bracelet is actually on sarahjip.com, by the way. You guys can check it out. It's an essential oil diffuser bracelet, a lava rock essential oil diffuser bracelet for chakra stones. So it just adds an added smell to you all day. It also helps for aromatherapy purposes. I'm just rubbing it on. I spray the perfume that I just put on my body on my hands. That's it, guys. 
that's that is what I do. I honestly think that's it. So I said you need to use clinical strength deodorant if you're a person who sweats a lot. It doesn't really matter the scent. You need to use lotions that is the scent you want to smell like. Do not mix the scent of your lotion and your perfume and your body spray. Make sure it's all the same scent. You need to put baby oil, coconut oil, olive oil over the lotion after you use the lotion all over your body. You use an oil afterwards and then after the oil you use the balm that is for dry skin. And then you put your perfume on. I have, I have no issues now with my scent and what I want to smell like. And yeah, I struggled with it. I'm, I'm going to be transparent with you guys. I struggled with it and it took, it took a while for me to value that I want to smell good all day, first of all, not for anyone else, for myself. And it actually feels good to, you know, do that for myself every morning um, or afternoon after I take a shower. But yeah, that is it, guys. Thank you so much for listening to me share my smell good all day routine, okay? And I hope it helps you. I hope you learned something that you maybe did not realize you needed to know to help yourself. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope that what I do for myself may work for you. And yeah, I appreciate you guys always. Be sure to like this video so more people can see me, guys, because the only way the only way I can grow is if you like the video and you tune in and subscribe, okay? If you've yet to subscribe and you watch this video to this part, I'm gonna need you to hit that subscribe button, okay? All right, I'll see you guys next time, okay? Bye! Use a queen, queen, and you are meant to be free. Use a queen, queen, and you are meant to be free. You should sip your tea and mind your business. Sip your tea and mind your business.